This is the biggest block for you to manifest anything that you want in 24 hours. I've made a few videos on how to manifest anything you want in 24 hours and the testimonies and things people shared from using it are incredible. And I wanna share with you the biggest block to manifesting anything you want in 24 hours and not just in 24 hours but in life in general and when you watch this video this video is going to allow this block to release out of your mind and what it's going to do is open up the floodgates for you to attract what you want easier into your life this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into this video One of the things that people always say when I make these types of videos is, oh, you can't manifest what you want 24 hours, this is stupid. <clears throat> but you just gotta understand basic science that Albert Einstein told us that time doesn't exist. And if time doesn't exist, then it's the illusion that time does exist that stops people from manifesting things quickly into their life. So for your entire life, you've been programmed by our world to believe that time exists and these things that you want in the future may or may not be attainable. Hopefully one day I could get there and it'd be so great and oh, and it's, it becomes elusive. The future becomes elusive. But that is a construct the mind created. The separation from the future is a construct the mind created and has been programmed to believe over a long period of time. So when someone crazy like me says, hey, you can manifest things into your life very quickly, it sounds stupid and foolish because we've been programmed for so long to believe that time exists. So comment down below, all I want already exists. Comment down below, all I want Want already exists. Watch this video all the way through. This is going to be very powerful. Comment down below. All I want already exists. Comment that down below. All I want already exists. And you say, well, how does all I want already exist? This is science. People, some people watch my videos and they say, you know, oh, this is just so made up. This Google this. Energy is never created or destroyed. This is what science tells us. Energy is never created or destroyed. So what is time? Time is an energy construct. What is reality? It's an energy construct. The wall is just energy. My body is just energy. Your body is energy. The phone or computer you're watching this on is energy. And anything that you want is just energy as well. Comment down below, energy is never created or destroyed. Comment down below, energy is never created or destroyed. Comment that down below, energy is never created or destroyed. Comment down below, energy is never created or destroyed. So if energy is never created or destroyed, then what you want exists, but just at a frequency of essentially visible light that's beyond what your eyes can perceive. So what that means is what you want exists. If energy is never created or destroyed, it's not that you're hopefully creating something in the future. Let's say you want more money to come quickly into your life. You want a new job opportunity. You want new friends, soulmate, some awesome big break, some a phone, a phone call, a text message. You want something to happen. It already exists because time doesn't exist. All the energy that ever was and ever will be is 100% evenly present at all places at all times. It's all happening now. It's just that your consciousness determines what you will experience. Your consciousness is so powerful that it rearranges subatomic particles. What is a subatomic particle? We, we used to think atoms were the building blocks of the physical world, but then we found out that there were sub atomic particles that make up atoms that are like even smaller than an atom. And then we found out, science found out, that the subatomic particles actually sometimes exist and sometimes don't exist. When I say don't exist, they still exist but they're in an energy state. They're in a non-physical energy state. When you say physical versus non-physical, non-physical doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means that your physical senses are only programmed to pick up a certain bandwidth of energy. Just like you go to channel 46 on your television, your television is only able to pick up that, that bandwidth of energy. Does it mean channel 49 isn't happening? No, it's happening. Your television is just a broadcast 
blasting one frequency only, and it projects that frequency onto the screen, i.e. channel 46. But channel 29 exists, channel 47 exists, all of the other frequencies are happening simultaneously, it's just that you program the television with the remote to only broadcast that one frequency at one time. Similarly, your senses are programmed for only one channel. That channel is called third dimension. But there's higher dimensions of reality that exist. There's energy systems that your senses can't pick up. You blow a dog whistle and you cannot hear the dog whistle. What does all of this mean? This, this should be so inspiring because what it's telling you is that not only is everything that you want possible, but it's already existing in a higher dimension. But your consciousness is what determines what you experience in third dimension. So when I say you can manifest anything you want in 24 hours, it's true. Science says it already exists if energy is never created or destroyed. But what's blocking it? It's the belief in time. Because if you go, I hope I get this thing in the future, it'd be great if I get this thing in the future. Have you ever noticed that? We're like, this is a big thing to manifest. This might take seven years and hopefully I'll get it in seven years. There's no such thing as big or small to the universe. The universe is a giant energy system that is constant, constantly expanding and everything already exists. But human consciousness comes into play and goes, yeah, maybe I could get this thing in the future. Well, I that's going to be impossible for me to, to, to double my income just like this year. You know, that's going to take me 25 years. And we build this construct of time that actually limits us. But the reason that we use time is because it's hard for us to even understand the idea of infinity. So we build this construct of past, present, and future to be able to comprehend reality easier. But it blocks you. So just think the most easy way to understand reality is if you use analogies and metaphors. In another video I use the metaphor of phones and the different phone numbers and they're all just different frequencies. Now let's use the analogy of a television. All those frequencies exist, all the different channels. It's not that they don't exist and then you create them by switching the channel. They're all broadcasting all the time but you have to tune in to that frequency using the remote by going to that channel. It's still happening even if you're not on that frequency and you're on frequency what I invite you to do is stop looking at it even like a channel just for the, just for the moment just so you can use this analogy instead of calling it a channel call it a frequency frequency 26 is broadcasting CNN frequency 27 is broadcasting Fox News frequency 28 is broadcasting the NBA playoffs frequency 34 is broadcasting a football game they're different frequencies and you can only pick up one frequency at a time. Similarly, you can only pick up one frequency at a time of your life. You can be in the presence of what you want or the absence of what you want. You can be in the possibility and the reality that your financial life is changing right now or you can be in, I wish it was changing. I think it's going to take me two to five years for my life to ever get any different and I really hope and wish it would change but right now that's just not feasible. That's just not possible because I'm limited by this thing. I'm limited by that thing. I'm limited by this thing. I have this problem. I'd really like my soulmate, but it's very hard to find them and I'm probably going to have to move to a different city because I've already, I've already found out that there's no good guys or no good women in my city. And so, see, you can be in the presence of what you want or the absence of what you want. You could be on the channel of what you want or the channel of what you do not want. See, use that as an analogy. Your, but instead, instead of a television, your brain is the television that's brain broadcasting the frequencies. Your consciousness is broadcasting the one frequency. But instead of you watching it on the television screen, the television screen is your entire life, is the sensory input your eyes are picking up right in front of your face. Your brain is the television screen broadcasting it out and then you're watching it happen in real time. But the frequency of no money exists just like the frequency of financial abundance exists. The frequency of there's no good guy you know, I'll be fine if I'm alone and 
you know, I, I probably won't have kids because there's no right people and that frequency exists, but so does the other frequency. And it all changes when you go from I wish to I have. I wish to I have. Start using I have. So comment down below, I go from I wish to I have. Comment down below, go from I wish to I have. Comment down below, go from I wish to I have. If you wish, you're, what you're doing is implying that maybe in the future you'll get there. But the biggest block to manifesting what you want quickly and fast into your life is time. If you put your future, if you put your dream into the future and hope or wish for it, you're creating a future construct that you may or may not obtain. You have to move to having it now in consciousness. Just like you would never go, you would never sit in front of the television and go, you know, I really wish I could get to channel 46. Maybe I could get there sometime in the future. But right now, you know, I don't have the right qualifications. I don't have enough money to get there. You'd be like, bro, just switch the clicker. It's right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's easy for you to say that, you know, Billy. It's easy for you to say that. But you don't understand the things that I've went through in my life. Besides, the rich people control all the other stations. It's not as easy as just flipping the switch. You can't just do it like that. You know, this. Th these things take a lot of time. These things take a lot of time. You don't understand. I'd be like, give me the clicker, I'll change the channel for you. You have to switch the frequency. And when you switch the frequency, what projects onto the screen of your life changes. Because time doesn't exist, everything is just energy. All the energy that ever was and ever will be is 100% evenly present in all places at all times. You're manifesting it by shifting your consciousness. You're manifesting channel 26 to watch what you want by shifting the remote to a new frequency. It's the same thing, it's the same construct. So what I'm inviting you to do is start perceiving reality like that as if it's all a bunch of different television channels. It's infinite bandwidth, it's infinite frequencies and you get to choose what frequency, what channel you tune into. So for the rest of the day, can you tune into the channel that you already have what it is that you want? You already are the person you want to be. You already are the person with the, with the amount of income you want. You already are the person with the job you want. You already are the person who has finally attracted like minds. No more. There's no like minds and you know it's really hard to meet similar. Get off of that channel. If you don't want to watch CNN, if you don't want to watch Fox, if you don't want to watch basketball, if you don't want to watch football and you really want to watch a, a cartoon on Disney, go to the Disney station. You have to be in the Disney station. You've got to flip the channel to the Disney station right and that's what allows reality to shift you're moving through parallel dimensions you're moving through parallel realities and then boom the Disney station comes on it's like hey I'm where I want to be you don't go I wish I could get to the Disney station you go all right Disney is let's see Disney's channel 34 channel 34 Psh and then it projects onto the screen. Well, reality is the same way. You don't, I hope or I wish I get to more money. I hope or I wish I get to my soulmate. I hope or I wish that I get to the place that I want to live and the life that I want and the friends that I have and the relationships I want and the health that I want and the person I want to be and maybe then I'll be more qualified and then my problem right now is a uh, time and I'm too fat and I'm too skinny and I don't have the right resources and I don't have the right mentors and I don't know enough. And, when you place less emphasis on the way the mind is going and instead you tune into the reality, then when you just shift the channel, you just go right to channel 34, which is I have what I want. This is what I had to do. I had to shift from looking at my YouTube analytics, getting no progress on it, looking at my bank account year after year, struggling, my girlfriend at the time, she's now my wife, was in debt. I was on the channel of this isn't working out. Maybe it's not meant to be. Hopefully sometime in the future I can get there. And finally, I was like, dude, I, I have to start having it now. I heard it, and I forget who, who said it, but I heard a quote, go from I wish to I have. And I started going, I already have it. I shifted the channel to already being a world-renowned thought leader, inspiring millions of people, this YouTube channel getting millions of views, being a millionaire, having the life that I want, influencing the world in a positive way. I went from I wish I could get there, hopefully sometime in the future I'll, I'll be able to be there, to I have it now. And 
what happened was something incredible. I made that shift, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, and I went camping. When I got back into service to go to a cafe to publish a new video, my videos had went viral. It happened overnight, quickly, fast. Why? Because my consciousness shifts. It doesn't take six weeks in order to go from the Disney Channel to the to the baseball game. It takes a couple seconds. The consciousness shifts. The projection of the energy frequency shifts, and then reality changes. Isn't that exciting? So that's the biggest block to manifesting what you want quickly, believing that time exists. Comment down below, I am an infinite being. Comment down below, I am an infinite being. Comment that down below, I am an infinite being. So here's the big take. I try to make every video as practical as possible. So here's the practicality of the video. What I'm inviting you to do, if you've got a friend, a family member, accountability partner that you guys work together on, do it with them, but if not, do it on your own. While you're driving, start talking as if you're already on the channel that you want. Just imagine that you're in a movie or you're imagine you're in a television show. You can be on channel 24 where you don't have what you want or channel 36 where you do have what you want. Imagine that you've already stepped into this to the reality that you want and you're already on that channel. How are your thoughts if you're already on the channel of having the money, the love, the job, the happiness, the life that you want? What's the channel like? Go on a walk and start talking to yourself as if you already have it. Once your consciousness gets rid of wish and gets rid of hope and gets rid of maybe I'll get there in the future, but right now it's this unattainable thing and I'm limited right now by my body, by my present circumstances, by my resources. Once that's gone, the things show up fast into life. Why? Because time doesn't exist and it's all a projection of consciousness anyways and we live in a world of free will so the universe doesn't give you what you want until you embody it in consciousness because we're all here to learn certain spiritual lessons, most namely that we're all co-creators in our life with the universe. And the universe isn't going to give you something that you hope or wish and maybe you'll get there in the future because then you're not learning the lesson of being a, a, a co-creator with the universe. That time doesn't exist, your thoughts matter, your projection of consciousness is what creates your reality. So forget about what your physical senses are telling you. Forget about what your bank account is telling you. Forget about how your last dating things haven't worked out. Remember, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Why? Because just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. If energy is never created or destroyed, it's just existing at a frequency beyond what you can see. If you're on channel four watching the news, you don't go, oh my God, this is evidence that channel 46 doesn't exist and the, and the baseball game doesn't exist anymore. No, you understand, you just gotta flip the channel. You've gotta flip the projection of the frequency. It exists, you just gotta flip the projection of the frequency to the right channel. When you flip the channel in your own mind to having what you want, being the person that you want to be already, thanking the universe, say, thank you God, thank you universe for this beautiful life that I have the money, that I have the job, that I have the this, that I have the that. What happens is every cell of your body responds to your consciousness. Every cell of your body starts vibrating in harmony with how your conscious, how your thoughts are controlling your cells. And that's what pulls you into a new reality and you step Step into a new dimension, a new, a new reality where you start pulling all of these things back into your life. And some people say, you're lucky. No, I changed all the cells in my body, right? That's what you say back to them. No, I started vibrating in harmony with what I wanted. My consciousness changed my cells. I started vibrating in harmony with having the money, having the love, having the job, having the life I dreamed of. And then reality matched that by pulling the people, circumstances, and situations that match my ideal reality because it already existed. My consciousness just had to go from here to here and match my reality that was always waiting right here, but my consciousness was down here. I was busy believing in my physical senses, being limited by it, being limited by time, but then boom, my consciousness went from I wish to I have. I have this reality, then boom. Just joking, but then it starts coming into your life. And that's what's so exciting and that's what stops most people. So look at reality for the next day and if it works for you look at it for the rest of your life look at it like you're changing the channel frequencies and when you go from I wish to I have then you manifest it so comment down below I am pure 
energy. Comment down below, I am pure energy. And start having what you want in consciousness. You're going to see it show up quickly. Some of you are gonna have it manifest in a couple hours. And the only thing that was blocking it was you were saying, I hope I get there in the future. I wish I get there in the future. And it's not just that you were saying it, you had embodied it in consciousness so your cells, every part of your body was vibrating in harmony with pushing what you want away from you instead of attracting it towards you. It's like you have a dam on the river and then you open up the dam and all of a sudden all the water starts flowing. All of a sudden the universe starts flowing towards you. The abundance of life starts flowing towards you. Remember, you're an individualization of God. You're a child of God. You're connected. Everything is energy. You're an individualization of that God, of that source, of that spirit, of the universe, of consciousness. You're one in the same with it. You're an extension of it. Therefore, you're already connected to everything that you want because that same God energy, that universal energy, that spirit energy is in everything else too but just vibrating at different frequencies so it appears to be separate, it appears to be different, but it's not. It's one and the same, so it's already in the money, it's already in the job, it's already in the house, it's already in the car, therefore you're one with it, but you must have it in consciousness, and when you have it in consciousness, then it projects onto the screen of your life as reality. So let's see what amazing things you can manifest in the next 24 hours with the shift in consciousness. Comment down below your success stories. You may get the phone call, you may get the job already. Something great may happen in four hours, six hours, 24 hours, 36 hours. Who cares about time? Forget about it. Be it in consciousness and you will see it manifest in the physical dimension here. It already exists in the non-physical, but we must embody it in consciousness to bring it into the physical reality. Come back and share your success story right there down below. If you want to amplify your manifestation power, go ahead and use my software, The Second Mind. I, I invented a software to rewire the brain because the biggest problem is the brain gets wired to old fundamental realities and all the neurocircuitry of the brain, the brain synapses all get wired to this. There's a term in neuroscience, it's called a Hebb's Law, and it says that nerve cells, brain cells that fire together, wire together. Every time you have an emotional thought, I hope, I wish I'd get there, it's way off in the future, you're firing nerve cells in your brain. And what happens is when you have similar emotional patterns or similar thought patterns or similar beliefs, they start to wire together and it creates your neurocircuitry just like when you build a home and you flip the switch in the home, if you haven't connected all of the elect uh, electrical outlets and you haven't put all the circuits through the home, but you have the switch, when you flip the switch, the lights won't come on. You need the electrician to build the electrical circuits all throughout all the rooms and once that happens you flip the switch and the lights come on. Similarly you have to rewire the brain and then when you flip the switch for the reality you want the lights come on it shows up in your life. So I created a software to take advantage of the way the mind works to program yourself to attract what you want to step out of your first mind the limited mind by society little old me and my dreams are off in the future to the second mind the one that's programmed for you to attract what you want because it already exists and you're a divine being. And it's right there down below and it's free to demo. Um, I never knew that over 100,000 people from all over the world in one year would use it. Um, so I'm very grateful and excited about that. Every day we hear some amazing success stories. It's thesecondmind.com. It's pinned to the comments. So scroll down and demo that for free right there down below. Thesecondmind.com. Get out of your first mind into your second mind. Thesecondmind.com right there down below. And let's see some amazing things made manifest. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. I don't know why YouTube does this, but even if you've already subscribed, you don't get notified unless you hit the bell notification. So make sure right now you actually hit that bell notification right over there on the side. Like this video to send it off into the YouTube universe. If it speaks to you, make this a video you listen to two, three, four, five times. Hear it again. If you can't watch it, just listen to the audio again to make sure it prompts into your consciousness so that you can eliminate Eliminate the idea of future and embody the, the reality that all energy that ever was and ever will be already exists and all of your desires already exist and when you come in harmony with them in consciousness, you will see them manifest in your life. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below. All I want exists now. 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 Some great things are about to unfold for you. 
I can't wait to hear about them. Come back and share them right there down below. Have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon.